everyone, Max with Avon Website Pro here, and uh, today we're going to be looking at Dreamweaver for you beginners and teach you how to set up a website for the first time. So when you fire up Dreamweaver for the first time, you might have prompts and everything to go through. Well, just, uh, you know, you could go through those prompts or just click ignore because I'm going to show you how to do it the right way here. So if uh, when you fire up Dreamweaver over here on the drop down, you'll see Manage Sites. Okay, and you can see some websites that I have on here. You'll click New Site, and we'll just call this our test site. And here's the local site folder. Now, this is where it's important. If you have a Champ server like I do, or maybe you have WAMP, you're going to want to navigate to the root directory of that particular um, processor, you know, because the processor only processes PHP files or, uh, you know, script files within there. Uh, or you could use your desktop, but then you're going to only have, be able to do uh, HTML, JavaScript, and PHP. But I have a processor, so I'm going to navigate to the Champ. You click this Browse for Folder, and it will bring up your folder. I'm going to scroll down here to my user MacBook Pro. Yours might look a little bit different, but you want to navigate to the LAMP stack. And then over here to HT Docs, okay. And now you want to create your new website. So click New Folder, and we're just going to put Test right in here. And I'm going to click Create. Finally, I'm going to hit the Choose button. And then down here, I'm going to hit Save. Now, all that GitHub stuff, and we'll go over that later. But um, the next button I'm going to click is Done. And now I'm ready to start developing in my new test site. To create a file, I'm going to right click over here, hit new file, and I'm going to call this uh, index.php. Okay, now I'm going to double click this. You're going to notice that I get index's locked file and cannot be viewed, uh, can be viewed but not changed. I'm going to click cancel here. Now I'm going to show you something. It doesn't work for me, but it might work for you. If you right click, scroll down to here where it says unlock. All right, and then you're supposed to be able to open up the file. And if that doesn't work, what you'll do is go to your Finder window, go to your uh, LAMP stack where your HT Docs is. So we'll go to HT Docs. Let me go ahead and get my file in there so I can find HT Docs better. Right there. And you want to right click on HT Docs and click Get Info. Right down here, you want to make sure these are all read and write, and you can see that mine are. If you go inside of HT Docs, go down to the test folder that you created. And then you want to right click on that, and same thing, get info, and scroll down here. You can see that it only has read and write for the uh, user. So we want to make these read and write too. In order to do that, you want to select this little lock. You'll be prompted to enter your password, so enter your password in there, then click OK, then come down here where it says Read Only and select Read and Write for both of those. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and lock that folder up, make sure it has all the Read and Write permissions, and then you're now you're supposed to be able to double click and open it, but I still get this, but if, if we hit View, I'm able to go in and I can start creating my uh, uh, PHP files echo this is some PHP all right and then this works because if I save that I'll be able to uh, view it in the browser so this is the beginner's guide for setting up for the first time um, this is just to work locally uh, in the future tutorials I'll show you how to work on a testing server and a remote server in Dreamweaver this is Max with Avon Website Pro if you like this video please like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.